Seeing that our senses sometimes deceive us, I was willing to suppose that there existed nothing really such as they presented to us. I, convinced that I was as open to error as any other, rejected as false all the reasonings I had hitherto taken for demonstrations. And finally, when I considered that the very same thoughts which we experience when awake may also be experienced when we are asleep, I supposed that all the objects that had ever entered into my mind when awake had in them no more truth than the illusions of my dreams. I observed that, whilst I thus wished to think that all was false, it was absolutely necessary that I, who thus thought, should be somewhat. And as I observed that this truth, I think, therefore I am, was so certain and of such evidence that no ground of doubt, however extravagant, could be alleged by the sceptics capable of shaking it, I concluded that I might, without scruple, accept it as the first principle of the philosophy of which I was in search.